Well, while the Republicans are slugging it out in the United States, President Obama has been dealing with a key foreign policy challenge this week. He met Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at the White House discussing Iran's nuclear intentions. Israel is very concerned about this. For more, Israel's ambassador to Australia, Yuval Rotom, has been speaking to Sky News chief political reporter Kieran Gilbert as part of our special series on senior diplomats in Canberra. Iran is a real threat, and uh, Iran is, is, is uh, trying to undo the order of the entire Middle East and the entire world. And that's the reason why the international community, more than once, have put forward the resolution of the Security Council to try to convince Iran to stop the emission of uranium. For a militant theocrat to have a nuclear capabilities is a new threat that we have never seen so far in the world. And that's the reason why it's a source of concern uh, to many countries, uh, to the Saudis, to the Arab countries, to the moderate Arab countries, to the Gulf countries, to Israel and all the neighboring countries. And above all, to the global uh, outlook uh, politically, which is going to change if, God forbid, they might have something like that. So do you think this will come to a head sometime soon? Well, there will be a moment uh, that decision has to be made. At this, fall, at this moment, we all pray that all these economic sanctions are going to work. Every day we basically pray that all those uh, uh, diplomatic efforts will bear fruit. But in the end of the day, the question is only, only one, whether Iran is going to stop the enrichment of, 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 of nuclear capabilities. Once it's, once it's done, uh, we know that the story might be over, but if it's not done, we should have to think what will be the means to stop them from doing so. We're really interested uh, in your view on Australia, You've been here now a few years, and, uh, and really, the, the, if we look at the Australian politics at the moment, the parliament, it seems it, it, there's a lot of acrimony, um, it, it, there's a lot of, uh, it seems uh, unruly in many respects, this hung parliament, but the Israelis are used to that, aren't they, with m the multi-party system that you've got? Well, I have to say in a very uh, uh, cynical way that uh, Australian politics today give me a sense of home, because for Israel, it's almost throughout the years of politics that we have seen. Uh, Israel, that's exactly the politics that you have seen in Israel. It's a, it's a coalition uh, uh, government that, used to run, that is running the country in Israel. And most of those coalition governments have either one or two seats edge over the opposition. So in many ways, what you have seen here as a new phenomena in the political culture is almost a way of life in our politics. So I've seen that, uh, not just with great interest, but also realising the resemblance that we have now between uh, your system and our system in many ways. There, there's something else that Israel and Australia has in common, and that is the strength of the economy, two of the, the best performing in the OECD. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Australians don't realise how well we're doing comparatively? I think to some extent, you may be... What we have noticed, what we have observed... Uh, as foreigners, uh, I don't think so many Australians were able to accomplish that yet. You are one of the most successful, prosperous, modern powerhouse in the world. When I came over here in 2007, I was consumed by Melbourne and Sydney yeah. and Canberra. It took me two years to visit first Perth. And ever since then, I've been there in two years 21 times. And I've changed the politics of the Israeli embassy. So every guest from Israel now, Perth is a must stop for him. Minister, politician, acad academics, uh, uh, art people. We want to expose what Australia is also. Not, not what you have seen on television, but the real Australia. When I went to, when I went with my wife to inspect Rio Tinto with Michael Wright family, uh, Peter Wright's son. It was, to my, uh, to my view, one of the most uh, defining moments for me in Australia. Mm. Because we, and we have seen the iron ore operation. Mm. You learn something about the scale and the power and the strength of this economy. Mm. Mm. And also bring some humility mm. to an Israel like myself mm. that always talk about Israeli technology. Mm. It's true. We are doing extremely well. But when you see the scale of Rio Tinto, or well, this iron ore division, it's just unbelievable. It makes all of us 
your best unpaid ambassador uh, for Australia. We all enjoy here, especially summertime. Yeah. Uh, there's one concept that we all have learned over here, and that's Aussie barbecue. Yeah. So Aussie barbecue means wonderful beef, spectacular wine. I have to tell you that uh, I still have to make my mind up whether it's Barossa Valley or Margaret River. Oh, for your favourite? For my favourite. There's nothing more pleasant mm. than to share a good, a good beef. You have, by the way, a great lamb, good wine, and as I say, tons of flies enjoying too. <laughs>